Hello, welcome back to Ratropolis. Let's get it. I have no idea who we are today. Hold on. We were the builder? No, merchant. So we're the we're the general, and we are on the forest. All right, let's do it. Hey, how you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Me, I'm hanging in there. You know the drill. I won't even, uh, I won't even, I won't even go into it because this has been every day. Nah, I, uh, good. It's, uh, 5 p.m. day after Easter. Hanging in there. You know. Ready to play a little Ratropolis. I didn't do much today. Well, I haven't done much yet. To be fair, I haven't, this is like... If, if, if in the in the life cycle of someone who would work a nine to five, assuming you have like a get up at eight o'clock sort of day, this is probably like eleven a.m. for me, meaning that I wake up around two o'clock because I go to bed very late because I stream late. Forgot to buff up my dudes. Being the general really does help out your early economy, doesn't it? You get those extra two grains off. Could could put down more units, but I'm not gonna. But no, I mostly with my free time, I oh no, uh, yeah, we just remove hunt. Mostly right now, I'm just watching Critical Role. I would be recording a lot more for YouTube, except for if I'm recording as I am now, I can't be watching Critical Role, and it's like I gotta. I'm really close to the end of the first campaign, and then I'm probably gonna take a big break. But dude, it's it's good. I'm excited to see it end and how it ends so i've been i've been pushing through pretty pretty heavily trying to trying to reach the end other than that though i got i got a few ideas i've thought i've hinted at a few ideas anyway for youtube series because i feel like i want to i want to do more than just ratropolis and then occasionally stone shard with youtube but it's it's always hard i don't know i have this like it, when it comes to not just YouTube, but also with streaming, I have like a mental block almost where I don't want to do anything new without being like, hey, coming up in a like in a video I don't, without having been like, hey, coming up on the channel, I'm gonna be doing this and this because I, and I don't know why. I should just do whatever the hell I wanna, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. I it also it's like new things are scary because it's change etc etc but I've got a few ideas right the maybe do some Hades and then maybe maybe do some get around to doing some reviews for I'm gonna take the building here because I have 29 population university oh that's terrible <laughs> oh god that's so hard to play like it's great if you if I get a good skill to go with it to power up like if I get rally with that for example who buddy that's some money but that's 468 gold that's a dead card for a while you know I got a, I got a bunch of ideas basically just keep your eyes peeled I'm probably just gonna get over it and put out a new video if I ever if I ever get around to making it like I've got the I've got I've got a bunch of notes for what I want to do for a Here's the introduction, like, here's here's what Hades is, sort of guide. Oh god, too bad I got rid of Hunt. That's okay. I almost wonder if it's right to remove University. Probably not. No, I'm down to five cards. It, like, at this point it can stay, right? Th this is this is where I've been getting to on Wave 4 a lot recently, where I have exactly, I have four cards in the deck, you remove uh, depending on who you are, right? As the general, obviously, remove hunt, but as the merchant, maybe not. But with no no cheese, just potter and grain and g guards and militia. This would be, you know what? This is a good time for me to try out Slinger again. And here's here's the thing here. Once I play out all of the buildings, I will have exactly five card draw. And so having the slinger in the mix won't be bad. It would, it's kind of like buying another militia or another guards, for example, where not for a long time, but may, maybe for a long time, the slinger is going to be here. And for the short time, 
it's gonna provide me a little value hopefully we'll see how it goes it's just it's a little more army to play out which is what i feel like we need right now i just want to take the gold just to get the university out or i could just remove it i don't know it feels weird to remove it though would i uh, maybe i should though this is i think this is the most expensive building in the game it's really tough uh, random economy card is so ridiculously high variance, but again, I, I like taking these from time to time just because it forces me to try out cards that I wouldn't otherwise take. Oh, it gave me smuggle. I mean, we're not bad with smuggle here. Huh. Gives me as much money as it costs to redraw. Give it a go. I don't think I should play it and like, try to spam it, but I'll play a few of them. See how it goes. Oh, well, there go all the guards. Too bad you can't stun. Yeah, there goes everyone on the back line. Surprise, surprise. This, this fight. That boss just ruins you. Ooh, buddy, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, the bizarre, while being legendary, is a very reasonable 200. 28 gold versus the 468 of this fucking university. We could take Undertaker. That doesn't sound good. We could take Thorn Fence. Also doesn't sound good. Fire Spirit. You know what? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's give Fire Spirit a chance. I was saying, uh, oh yeah, keep your, keep your eyes peeled. I'll be... It's probably just gonna be like one day you're gonna wake up and see a new video. That's that's what I that's what I envision is I'm just gonna one of these days be like, hey, I'm gonna make a new video. I finally have everything planned out. That's how it was with Retropolis, at least. Oh, also we're fucked. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, okay. Why am I dead here? Purificate event. Hundred percent. Easiest question of my life. Oh, I can't even, uh, I can't even fire spirit. Yeah, so, you know, we've had a lot of runs, we've had a lot of runs lately that haven't, it's, it's been a long time since I've died on this wave. Why did I die on this wave? Because of the purificate event. I think that it is truly, like, the worst event in this game. There is no, like, sometimes it does absolutely nothing, and sometimes it stacks up with the wave like that and just kills you, and there is no real way to stop it. Other, like, I would have just had to have taken the cards, right? I had to take the three Purificate cards in that one. But then, I, sometimes that those waves just come between the waves and it's like nothing ever happened, right? It's super, super high variance and I hate it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. I can play one. Don't play both. I can play one. But yeah, I, I hate that event because it's so high variance. Sometimes, I, obviously, oh, just don't, just take the the the, the population downs there. Yeah, I should've, but how was I supposed to know? I guess uh, the, the new rule that I should go by is if it's, if it's spitters, just don't, just take the population cards. I don't know. Losses like that one, I'm not, I'm not too torn up about because that doesn't feel like I did anything wrong. I just got the event at a bad time, and I, I kind of wish that they would standardize when those events showed up because what, losing like that is like, well, that sucks. <laughs> like, like that's all I can say is, well, that sucks, and it really does. But eh, whatever. It's weird though, I haven't had haven't had to haven't had to start fresh like this in a while. I haven't had to have a two run episode. I'm not ready for it. Plus one plus three is pretty important. Crossbow rat, well, well, well. And a tannery. Alright, we're good. We're off to a we're off to a solid start here. Crossbow rat from the first shop is excellent, I would say. No, I've got I've I've, I've ah. Why was I? Why are my clicks so bad? I mean, I can still play this for three gold, I guess. Mm -hmm. I've got some ideas. I'll uh, I'll work on bringing to fruition. No card removes in the first two waves. Kind of sucks. Good take invite. I don't think I need it though. I don't think I need it. 
Just put one crossbow down either side and we're chilling. Probably, well, once I see what uh, wave it is, like what enemy type it is, I'll decide if I want to keep playing guards or not. Because if it's spitters, I'm just going to forego guards. If it's fat boys, I need guards. And if, it run if it's runners, it doesn't matter. And it is runners. So it doesn't matter. Which means I think I would rather put down, like I'll probably put down, like I'll go to three guards, I guess. Just to help DPS down the the big boys, because there will be big boys. Mm, locked. Honestly, the locked is pretty good. I won't take a dead card again. A pirate's interesting. I'm not gonna take him, but he's interesting. No, I mean I did I did veer off the pl the path a little bit there too. Don't get me wrong. The I don't know if the wave time down from smuggle affects enemy uh, like like the the purificate enemies the little plague rats. If it does, then I would have had a better chance. Or if it does, then it doesn't matter. But if it doesn't, then I would have had a better chance of surviving that if I didn't take uh, the random economy card as well, right? I don't mind though. I don't mind trying out a new thing here or there. Sometimes it's gonna cost us the run. Eh, whatever. Basically, I don't care. I'm not. Since there's no official way to track win streaks in the game, I'm not so so concerned about winning every single run. As I've said, if they ever add in a win streak tracker, maybe I'll try it. Oh, we got rally. Wow. I'm good. I didn't grab a wall in the first shot. That's right. And I think that was a smart decision. Now, if they ever put in win streaks, though, I will maybe try and be a little more serious about winning multiple runs in a row. But as it sits, like, who cares? Two houses here. I'll just take two houses here, though. We'll play standard. I won't take out an advisor. The advisor, like, the advisor, the building card, the economy card, they're super high variants, right? That's all it is. What it comes down to there is it's very, very variant. Very, very variant. Mm. That's a terrible sentence. But sometimes it's gonna be insane. You're gonna get, like, from that building, I could have got, like, fucking tax office or barn or you name it, right? Armory. Oh, I should have trained first. It's okay. The plus one plus three at this point, I'm like, well, if that, that crossbow missing one damage, does that really matter? Eh, not that much. Similarly with the advisor though, it's very, you could get, oh, what could you get? You could get something like Arbalist on this map or Settler or, you know, you name it, right? There's, there's, a, there's a number of really good outcomes. How much is shooting range? By the way, 345. I'm keeping my eyes peeled to see if my claim that the most expensive building in the game is actually university is true. Yeah. Keep in keep in watch. The other the other the flip side of advisors though is of course doomsday or greedy uh, militia leader to clog up the deck in the early game. Things like that. I feel like it's okay to go for the advisor because really. Almost any military advisor is good. Just just running through them in my mind real quick. The only ones that I would ever be upset about getting, and even then it's just one card that you have to remove, which in a setup like this where we're already stable enough with Arbalist, I'm not so, so worried. And the upside is pretty high, right? Like, the, the variance is there, of course. Alter Restaurant Graveyard. Alter has been real good. I'm gonna keep removing cheese though. Yeah, really the only advisor that would be really bad would be Doomsdayer since I don't have the capability to play out my population right now. And even that's not the end of the world. Greedy sucks, but... I mean, greed... Oh fuck, almost lost that guard. I can't believe I both didn't play that and then didn't redraw. Those clicks, they're not great. Graveyard. 
Probably should take Graveyard Tannery Wall here. I don't need to though, and I kind of want to go for like the the high money. Let's get it play, just to refresh. But here's here's how here's how my brain works in situations like this though. I look at these good outcomes, right? Tannery Wall Graveyard, and I go, well, these are pretty good. But what if I refresh? And my brain is like, well, you could find something incredible, but that it doesn't answer the question of like, okay, what could I see though? What would I be looking for? That's better than graveyard wall tannery. Like, um, apartments and epic. I could see like tax office, maybe, or uh, shield rat, perhaps, things like that. But those are very unlikely. Let's just take the safe bet. All in all, when it comes to the advisors, the advisors are a lot less variant, I think. Because even if you're getting a mediocre military card, it's still... Like, the only, the only real bad one, I think, is Unforgiven. Unforgiven Rat, of course, giving you the Exiled card. But even that, Unforgiven holds down the first, like, five... Probably the first, like, ten to fifteen waves. That's maybe... That's maybe a little bit of an overestimate. Depending on how many you're able to play out, right? Because it, with Unforgiven, you get only minus one on your... Oops, should redraw when I have the time to, huh? It's only minus one instead of a bigger minus two. So you can stack up more Exiles. But Exiles' problem is just, it's not his attack, right? His attack is great. He, do, he does very high damage for three population. Although, to be fair, He's, he's very similar to Musketeer as I think about it. Hmm. I don't know. Some, he's like worse Musketeer, isn't he? I think so. Regardless. Uh, you, you can have a few of them hold it down. Their only big problem is that they don't have any health. Maybe if they had better range, maybe. Because then they could, like, the, the problem is through, through waves 10 through 20, they just get chipped away at. They, uh, they, they take, like, one or two damage from the enemies that they should one-shot. Because the enemies have higher range. The enemies being the weasels with the spears. It's interesting. Militia leader is not so bad, though, I would say. There are situations where I've taken Militia Leader. Temple 269. Pretty sure the highest cost of the card in the game is University at 460. Or like, what was it, 450-ish? Somewhere in that range. Big territory expansion here. I wish that Rally would apply the... Oh, we're just gonna put down crossbows from this position. I wish Rally would apply the upgrade retroactively like it does regular buffs. Although that would probably be... I don't know. I was gonna say that'd be too strong, but that wouldn't be too strong. Because as it sits, if you upgrade a card, all of your units that are already placed, they just get they eat shit. They eat shit. Lottery here. It's 150 gold 30% of the time. If you play it 10 times, you pay 160 gold. You should see about 450. It's not terrible. You know what I want to do here, though? I want to take defense expenses. I've wanted it. Uh, for a while now. Uh, this, is a, this is a thought that I've never brought to fruition until right now. You might be able to see. You might have an idea of what I'm about to do if you, uh, if you look closely. 200 gold. It's not, it's not nuts, right? It's, it's fine. It's decent. I should get it relatively consistently since my deck is uh, seven cards. Seven cards. Huh. Rally. I can probably get rid of... I've, I've passed a few restaurants at this point, though. I can probably get rid of the grain. But not every... Uh, if you have ephemeral military cards, they get counted as military cards for the purposes of something like defense expenses. Medic. We're on the forest. I don't think I need Medic, because enemies should die before they reach me, basically, with all these crossbows up through wave 20. And then by wave 20, you're not you're not getting much value out of Medic anymore, because they're just going to die in AoE. Just trying to make sure I keep my sides even, you know how it goes. Alright. 
So you play out. It's weird because I have too many military cards. Nah, I don't think so. Play out the Potter. Well, it's only worth 10 gold. It's better for me to throw Potter away in that situation, isn't it? Yeah, because Potter gets 10 gold, whereas the, the extra card it would give me would give me 20 gold. Yeah, I should be I should be playing Potter. My my leader ability is still level one, which is just silly. At this point in the game, I should have leveled it up a few times at least. A moment here, I'm gonna take a quick drink after I see what this event is. Butterfly event. Let's go. Oh. Drinking a nice tall glass of Arizona green tea. It's, you know, it's not, I don't, I don't purport that it's better for me than soda. If you, if you've been with me for a while, you probably know. I've probably talked at least once or twice about my struggle with quitting Coca-Cola. Boys, you gotta move forward. You can't just stand back there. Thank you. See, it's voice activated as it turns out. No, I've been I've been trying to uh, quit drinking soda for a while now. It's not easy, but I've replaced it at least temporarily with Arizona green tea. We'll see how long that lasts. Blacksmith is nice because I can apply it through rally. I wouldn't take blacksmith there if I wasn't able to apply it through the rally. So I'm gonna try, basically my plan here is going to be, A, make sure I play defense expenses every time. But the idea here is just to go to go to whichever side is not being attacked and rally back the units and then put them one wall back. Like this, so that I can hopefully get this buff distributed. Steel? Eh, no, I don't like steel in this actually, it's messy. So I don't think I want any of this. Right, shoe mark is not bad, graveyard's not bad. But those are levels of not bad where I would rather get the refresh and maybe we can find shield rat. Exhibit A. I did say I would mess around with Soul Reaper. I feel like the problem the problem with taking Soul Reaper here, even though I said I would try it out a bunch, is that it's really hard to actually get a handle on how Soul Reaper is gonna do here because Soul Reaper is not the star of this run. The star of this run is crossbow comma rat. As you can probably imagine, he's kinda kinda ripping them up here. Should've put the crossbows down. Yeah. This is greed. To the ultimate degree. D <laughs> nice. I felt that one. I don't know why I was just like, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one. And I did. And I want I did want the house there. I didn't vocalize that I wanted the house, however I did in fact desire that house. Just win a house at the claw game. Wow, four crossbows are able to hold these waves. Look at this shit. Tell me crossbow rats not the strongest man. Wave 15 of the forest just single-handedly held by one crossbow rat. I mean four crossbow rats to be fair, but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> I just bought shield rat and then they give me shield rat event. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, that's gross. Alright, and that's everyone on the right side upgraded. I should have moved back, yeah. I forgot. On the right side, he doesn't actually do damage to your units, right? The charge doesn't hurt them. Now the downside is my AI is broken, and they're all very confused, and now I'm going to take a bunch of losses. Well, hopefully I can rally some of them back, huh? No? I don't know what the fuck's going on. I mean, shit, dude. Two crossbow rats and a few guards on the front line. Look at this. They're killing it. They are killing it. Now, it's very hard to redistribute my... Take, uh, let's look at the, the legendaries. I did, I in my mind, I didn't say it out loud, but uh, in my mind, what legendary would I take? Guardian, maybe. Guardian, maybe. 
Is it worth it? Probably. He's really strong. But is it worth it to clutter up the deck? I would have to remove. And I'm skipping an upgrade for him as well. I don't know. I don't know. I think I won't. I think that with the rally plus hero power combo that I'm going to be able to pull off, it's a little better to keep shield rats. They'll get stronger. Mm, I could take immigration. What is it? It's 4, 3, 2, 1. It's 10 population for... You, you are paying a, more than 80... I'd be paying 81 times 5 for 10 population, which comes out to, like, what, 405? Oh, 406, because it costs 82 to buy. 406 gold for 10 population? You know what? Yeah. Four, it's like 406 gold and one treasure chest that you have to take a removal for. But in return, you get 10 population, which I think is worth it. Okay with 10 crossbows right now. Well, I may as well put out more. There's no reason for me not to anyway. Defense expenses gives you it costs 20 more gold, but it gives you 10 more gold per card, which Oh wait. Do the math on that. It actually takes a little bit of work to get to the point where it's value. It takes like two extra cards, right? Right? I mean so it costs you 60 gold to get 30 gold per card, which means that... No, you, it's the same. You you break even at 2 and you make money at 3. There's no difference. I take it back. Could take the totem. Totem's fun. I'm gonna take leader level ups, though. There's no reason not to. Train up, get some buff units. The longer these guys survive, the stronger they become. We're close to having everyone on the left side rallied with uh, Blacksmith. Put down two crossbows over here. Oh yeah, we're at 11 units, so I need to rally twice more. You can see though, this rally plus defense expenses is, uh, is generating me some good money. I gotta say, we're looking pretty rich. Oh, I don't have train ready. I should, I should, uh, I can just leave, like, yeah, and then this is, this is five, this is nine, and then I rally this side, and then it's settled, theoretically. Well, let's not fuck around. You know, it's like, it's like two units that aren't gonna have it. I don't care. That's fine. Skip that treasure chest, but, you know, it's not necessarily skipping the treasure chest, because sometimes the treasure chests that you skip are garbage, like that one. Yeah, we're taking some losses on the side because I was greedy. There's no reason to be greedy. We're we're solid. The thing is, Crossbow Rat is another one of those units that does fall off a bit as you transition towards the late game. So I should be making sure that my guards are getting stacked up a little bit. Oh, forgot the defense expenses. Oh, you, you may have thought I was going to forget to move my units back, but I would never. Random building card hit me. Shoe market? Excellent. Treasure Hunter? Nah, I have crossbow. They fill a similar role. Obviously, Treasure Hunter does more DPS, but takes twice as much population, and you gotta stack up a lot. We could just put our last three population. You know what? Yeah, let's do this. Let's take fitness and, uh, and alter. Fitness with rally is weird but i like it because now i just focus like i focus left side with fitness right side with rally plus train and i think that it's fine and we have crossbows to deal with the like having having crossbows for this for wave 20s feels very nice being able to just blow right through all of the enemy units like that is very enjoyable very helpful i would say oh he shot one of my guards what the fuck dude but the, the big problem on that map is, of course, or on this map in particular, mo more so on wave 20 of... Oh, a sniper. Hang on. Like the, the perfect transition at a crossbow. Yeah. And the big problem you'll face on wave 20s on not the coast, but the other two maps is when enemies... Like the, the wave 20 doesn't, the boss is too big 
There we go. I have figured out how to put in the words, the words I was trying to say. The boss is so dummy thick that he blocks all of your projectiles on his lesser units and crossbow counters that, I would say. I'm still gonna put down some crossbows, but I do, I think I should just focus the rest of my population in the musketeer, right? I honestly, I think crossbow is fine too. I, musketeer is here for not moral support. Musketeer is here to deal with the bosses, right? 14 crossbows that have been getting rallied plus arms are going to crush these waves. And the damage that they I aren't able to do, like the enemies that they don't finish off, is going to get handled by guards. I just want to have a few... I got too many shield rats on the right side. A few... Say goodbye to Potter here. A few musketeers to help out along the way. Sniper, by the way, I don't particularly care for. It, so, range plus 50% means that he has a 600 attack range, is what I would imagine. However, this game isn't always the most uh, consistent with its range numbers like that. That defense expense is in here. I've, by the way, I've explained why you don't, well, why, why when you have fitness like this, you have to split it up like I am. But uh, I'll, I'll say it again. It's, it doesn't hurt. You may not have seen that episode. Essentially, with fitness, you see that when you play fitness, every unit at the wall just gets a buff. If you, uh, if, if you, if the unit gets pulled back through rally, they lose the buff. They don't get the health. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And here's 48 HP to all of those units. That's pretty good. Similarly, if you play units down after you play the fitness, they don't get the effect. I should not spam redraw. Well, th this run is, a, is set up in such a way where defense expenses doesn't solo carry my income. However, it does enough. Basically, it makes it so that I can Take banner right here. Little little boost, right? Three or four banner rats in each side is gonna be a lot of damage. Defense expenses lets me have money for emergencies, so if a boss starts to go poorly, I can then power out a bunch of units. Uh, it's the toad, which I wonder if is this toad a different color? This guy's a little more orange than normal, right? Does that indicate which boss we're gonna face, I wonder? Forgot to arm. My bad. It happens that way sometimes. I was thinking about that toad. <gasps> yeah, weird. I wonder if that means that this is the owl, because he was a little he was a little uh owl looking. I think the toad's normally green, so maybe the like, that, that toad was brown, which makes me wonder, because I believe the forest owl also has brown feathers. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Great Musketeer is a big upgrade. We'll see, I guess. If that's the, if that's the indicator, if that's the differentiator, perhaps. I'd have to see if it, like, maybe I'm just mistaken and I've never looked at that toad close enough to know what he actually looks like. Also very viable answer. Out of, uh, out of population, the only thing that I'm worried about is only one musketeer on the right side, but at the rate we're going, they're never hitting the left, or the right side. I guess we'll see. If it is the owl here, basically if it's the, the there's only one thing, there's only one outcome here. The The outcome is that it, I'm wrong. If it's the owl, I'm right. And if it's, if it's not, put it like this. If it's the owl, I'm right, potentially. If it's the snake, I'm 100% wrong, right? There's like 50-50 that it could be just a coincidence. If we see the owl, like, oh, it could just be, well, either, either Toad can see either enemy, right? However, if I do see the owl, I can't confirm it. But if I don't see the owl, well, then that does confirm it. If that makes sense. Because th sometimes I say sentences and then I 
list, and then I like take a moment and I hear them and they process back through my brain and I go, that was nonsense. That wasn't a real, those weren't real words. Let me, give me one more try here, one more try here. I, I don't know, I feel like sometimes my words, they don't come out right. And by sometimes, I mean more often than they should, considering what I'm doing here. Like, I, I kind of, my brain goes into auto-commentary mode when I'm, when I'm playing and making the choices. And sometimes auto-commentary mode doesn't work. It just, it just pumps out a bunch of nonsense that doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm not taking arm. Rally plus arm, I know, I know, but... I don't think I need it. I don't want it. That's all there is to it. Oh, there's there's another thing that we could see here. If the second toad is a different color than the first toad, then it super doesn't matter. Like, it really, really doesn't matter. And there's no way to tell. But my, my, okay. Now let me try and explain what I was trying to say earlier. And it maybe it did make sense, but to me it didn't make sense, right? Although as I think about it, I think the toad was always this color. But my, my, my hang up here is I think that there's a green and brown version of the toad. I could be wrong, but I think there is a green and brown toad. And if that's the case, the final, the snake is green and the owl is brown. David, I always think David is Tinker. Almost snap picked him. There's no reason for me to take anything here. Oh, you know what? No, Fortress. This is like, this is some population. So, if we see the owl, then I might be right or I might be wrong. If we see the snake, I'm definitely wrong. That's what I was trying to say. See, was that so hard? Was that so hard for my dumb brain to figure out? Nah. But I wasn't focusing on it. My brain was, my brain had a thought and then was trying to figure out how to turn that thought into actionable words. Yeah, 10 population, you know what? It's not efficient by any means, but it's all right. Basically, we hope the left side gets hit because the left side is the, the side that has all of the health, right? The, the fitnesses are going and giving health to every unit a lot faster than Rally Arm is giving attack and health. Also, I believe that this guy only blows the horn when a wave is coming. I think that might be- I, I want to say like, hey, fun fact, did you know the guy in the fortress only make, does this animation when there's a wave on the way? But I might be wrong and we may also never know because these waves might just chain into each other forever. That's all I want to see now, but I don't, think, I don't think so with the way the forest is. The waves just keep on coming and they don't stop coming. Was it bad to the rules? Bed? He doesn't say bed to the rules. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's bend to the rules? What do they say in Smash Mouth's hit song, All Star? What is the lyric? My brain goes bed to the rules, but that, that doesn't make any sense. That's not, that can't be it. It must be bend to the rules, right? It's gotta be bend to the rules. B E N D. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I w this is the part where I would say, yeah, I'll let you know in the next episode. But there's no fucking way that I remember to look that up. Also, I'm probably gonna record these back to back. I'm gonna pay to redraw to get a few fitnesses out here, and then I'm just gonna alter and cash them all in. Bend to the rules. I'm gonna have to look this up. There's a bunch of health. That's like 36 health. Uh, 36, or no, uh, 54 max HP to either side. I would take the apartment, but I don't think I have the space for it. Like, literally. We have enough population now as well, where we are in just play everything out territory. It doesn't matter anymore. I can't believe I've gone all this time without actually knowing the lyric to that extremely iconic popular song. 
How have I gone so long? The first time I try to reference it and I go, wait, what's the actual lyric? I don't even know. Oh, the wave ended. Oh, I was wrong. He's just always blowing it. Yo, that's not good. Oh, I think my monitor is dying. I've been having this thing. I thought it was just during Hades where my monitor just randomly goes black. And yeah, like it just went black now, but I can see it on my left monitor. Oh, it's the snake. All right, my hypothesis is full of shit. Shit, my monitor is dying, isn't it? This is terrible news. Because it's happening during Metropolis. Here I was thinking it was just a uh, a product of Hades. Some bug. Mm -mm. Maybe it's just the cord. I'll double check it after this. Hopefully it's okay. Anyway. 6,500 health, huh? Or 6,449. Probably 6,500. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.